The human cost of Dubai's economic meltdown. Hopeless and homesick. These men from South Asia came to the United Arab Emirates to make a living. But after the collapse of the Dubai property market, some businesses went bankrupt. Some just shut down. Others evaded their debts by simply quitting the Emirates. And instead of sending these workers home, several large employers left everything behind. Even the people that worked for them, in camps with no basic services. But at least some of the thousands left stranded in a destitute limbo have a guardian angel. She is Sahar Sheikh, and she is neither a social worker nor paid by an NGO. <laughs> Sahar, how many people stranded here? Uh, for this particular camp, 35 men. 35 men? 35 men. For 10 months, no salary. No food, no water, no power. They're sleeping on their roof. You see that roof? Yeah. The sloping one with the matting on top? That is their bed. 33-year-old Sahar is married to a Dubai property developer. Her mission began when she noticed a poor laborer trying to scrape together enough money to buy food. The, it's the employer's fault. They have the millions. They have the money to send these men home, but they choose not to. They choose to just run off and and they don't care, they leave these men to rot. With a smile and comforting words, she brings food, water, clothes and toiletries. But you smell sewage and garbage everywhere. So this camp is functioning, the air conditioning, you can see is still working and you can hear it. And the employers are still paying for the workers here. Whereas this camp is totally abandoned, no air conditioning, the rooms are too small and the workers end up sleeping on the rooftop because of the heat. Sahar takes us to another camp where workers have been abandoned. One of their mothers died of starvation a few months ago because they couldn't send any money home. Like, it, like could, I could have been that mother. They could have been my son. Same story, but different ending. These laborers are going home. Sahar tells us the Emirates Ministry of Labor has stepped in, retrieving the workers' passports, which are usually held by the companies. The government also provides plane tickets and some money. But while these happy workers bid farewell to Sahar and these inhumane conditions, Many more. Sit and wait. Rima Maktabi, CNN, Sharjah.